वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज मोहम्मद उबैद एंड दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन अर्थक्वेक इंजीनियरिंग एंड सॉफ्टवेयर प्रैक्टिस सीरीज एंड टूडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू स्केल आवर अर्थक्वेक ग्राउंड मोशन टाइम हिस्ट्री एट डिफरेंट पी जी ए लेवल दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर डूइंग आई डी एनालिसिस विच इज इंक्रीमेंटल डायनेमिक एनालिसिस एंड फ्रेजिटी कर्व डेवलपमेंट सो एंड इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल सो वी विल यूज a very specific software uh, whose name is uh, sismo signal and the procedure is very simple this is the equation which will we, we will be using which is scale factor is equal to required pga divided by current pga okay if we want to scale our ground motion data at 0.5 pga level and the current pga of our ground motion data is 0.35713 for example then we will just divide 0.5 by 0.35713 which will come out to be 1.4 and we will use this scale factor to scale up our ground motion data okay so let's see an example to understand this concept very clearly so this is the interface of sismo signal software and from here we can open our ground motion time history data file so we will just use the inbuilt file Uh, there are some ground motion data which is uh, which is given with this software so we will just use chichi ground motion data we can also use some other file okay from our desktop so we will just for this example we will just use chichi data just click open and this dialog box is open uh, from the first line we can see uh, we can understand that what does it mean first line means that from which line from which line our earthquake ground motion data starts okay so from this report we can see that this is first line second line third line fourth line fifth line and sixth line so from sixth line onward our ground motion data starts okay so here we will just put six and uh, last line what does it mean the last line we can count from here okay so what is our last line our last line is 5284 5284 which is automatically understood by the software okay and what is our time step so time step is the time at which our ground motion data is recorded okay so from here we can see the the first reading is taken as 0.0 second second reading is taken at 0.01 second so our time step is equal to 0.01 okay and the other thing is we have to choose the type of data what does it mean that uh, from this file we can see that our first column is time and our second column is acceleration value so from here we will choose time and acceleration value if we are using peer nga website data then we will choose peer nga format okay but here we are using time and acceleration values in separate column so we will just use this time and acceleration value per line and we will choose acceleration in second column which is given here and we will choose time column as first column okay we will just click okay and here it is our graphs this is the acceleration versus time plot this is velocity versus time plot this is displacement versus time plot okay now our interest is to scale up the ground motion data at 0.5 pga level the original pga level of this data is 0.361 okay now we will just do the simple calculation we will just clear all and uh, we want to scale this ground motion data at point Five level, okay, point five G. So we will just divide point five divided by our current data, which is point three six one, zero point three six one. Okay, we will just hit okay, and this value is comes out to one point three eight five zero four one five five. Okay, we will just copy this value, and we will just paste in this option. What is this option? This is we will just Click this. This is the scale acceleration. Okay, so here the scaling factor is one. Initial scaling factor is one. We will just change this and we will just paste our value. Our value is one point three eight five. Okay, we will just click okay, and it will do the work. And we can see here that our data has been scaled to point approximate point five G level. So in this way we can scale up or scale down our ground motion history. and we can also use uh, other things which is given in the software 
okay we can see time history we can see fourier power spectra and we can do many other thing but uh, right now we are interested in scaling up the ground motion data okay so we have done this and uh, this is the simplest scaling which is linear scaling so this is it for this video i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and share this video and if you have any comment please comment down in the comment box and i will try to answer all your comment as soon as possible thanks for watching we will meet on in next video